Hello and welcome back everybody once again for another exciting episode of Reign of Chaos Wrestling. Coming to you live from Newark, New Jersey for this week's show. And what a show on hand we have for you today. Tonight rather. We're we'll starting things off here with the deck taking on the bar in tag team action. Seeing as the bar still do not have potential challengers for the tag team titles. As we are inching closer to the Autumn Rumble pay per view. Twitch Championship be on the line. The new champion Bobby Roode will be defending against Eli Drake. So coming out here first we got Mike Bennett of the deck with the first lady Maria Canellis and Yuhan Nation Yuhan Nation and Ace Austin have scored a victory once before against again representing the deck but The only success that the deck has had is for Prince Devitt to win the World Heavyweight title here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling, but I'm sure that they're due for some more gold in their future. And they could possibly do it here if they can defeat the bar in non-title match. That'll easily put yourself in good position. Tag Team Champions of Rana Chaos Wrestling, The Bar. Cesaro and Sheamus, one of the most dominant tag teams in professional wrestling. Cesaro being the former Claudio Castanoli in the independent scene. That was his name back in the days of 2CW. And speaking of 2CW, you can watch 2KCW over on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Flat every Friday when there is a tape delay available of Reign of Chaos Wrestling on Saturdays. 2KCW will air on Fridays. And by the time that this tape delay goes live, that the 2KCW episode last yesterday was unfinished business. Great action on that show, but here we go. Yuha Nation squaring off here with Cesaro. Military press gut buster from the Swiss Superman. 
And a hard uppercut. To Yuha Nation. And there you see Maria Canellis out on the floor managing for the deck. Belly to belly suplex from Yuha Nation. Both men taking the tumble outside the ring. As Yuha introducing Cesaro into the steel guardrail. The fans getting up close and personal with all of our wrestlers here. Right hand from Nation. Going head first into the ring apron. They got to be aware of the referee's count. We had a match end last week on a double countout. And Yuha bringing this match back inside. And a leaping neckbreaker to Cesaro. Tag made. Here comes Mike Bennett for the deck. Off the ropes and a quick boot. And a running uppercut from Cesaro. Tag made. In comes Sheamus. Belly to belly blocked by Mike Bennett. You never know what Mike's going to do. I mean, he's the, the joker of the deck. And as you saw in their new merch. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a whole play on with a, a suit of playing cards that Mike is the joker of the deck and very unorthodox gentleman I can say for sure as Mike makes a tag back to Yuha Nation Yuha is the, the jack of the deck the jack of all trades another belly to belly suplex to Sheamus and obviously, as you can fill the rest of it out, Maria is the queen. Deva is the prince and the demon king. Elevated DDT from Yuha Nation. And Ace Austin is the ace of the deck. And around and around they go. Sheamus taking down Mike. Bennett out on the floor. Wrist locked into the big boot from Sheamus. This might be it for the deck in this match as far as I'm concerned. Mike able back able to get back up on the apron. Sheamus choking out Yuha. Yuha able to shove him off Cesaro. Try to get a quick grab a hold of Yuha Nation. Tag made. Here comes Mike Bennett again. And now a double elevated. And double team maneuver into a neck elevated neck breaker beautifully done between Bennett and Yuha and again more whoa splash coming up empty for Bennett as Seamus able to get out of the way now Bennett stuck in the bars corner and Seamus wasn't able to capitalize on a double team maneuver Series of elbows right into the abdomen of Mike Bennett. Tag made. In comes Sheamus, and now we're going to see white noise into an elevated leg drop combination from Cesaro. Of course, you can ask anybody. Everybody will say the same thing, that Cesaro is one of the most underrated wrestlers in the industry. I mean, here in Reign of Chaos, he's a, obviously a current tag team champion. He's a two-time Twitch champion. And in GAW, he's a former Intercontinental champion. Double team maneuver. Yuha stuck in the corner and double gut kick from the bar. Almost had Yuha in a power slam position. Nation now. Teardrop suplex. Taking down Sheamus. 
And Mike Bennett is just starting to come too. Elevated in Zagiri missing from Yuha Nation. And now Nation with a standing suplex. The power on display from Yuha Nation to Sheamus. Look at this. Feet of strength on display there from Yuha Nation. They might be looking to do it again. Another standing suplex. I mean, what is this going to be? A combined time of 10, 15 seconds of being being held upside down on by your neck. Now Nation. Ramming Sheamus' head into the bar's corner and nothing that Cesaro can do about it without possibly causing for a disqualification. Rub, running ax, double axe handle from Sheamus. Puts a stop to that real quick. His nation is still continuing the fight here. And an Olympic slam from Yuha Nation. Standing shooting star press from Nation again. That's why he's the jack of all trades. That he can do it all. He can work a mat game, striking ability, and a little bit of high fly here and there. The total package is what Yuha Nation is. Now Nation just staring a hole into Sheamus as Bennett is trying to. Taunt Sheamus here and Maria's admiring the handiwork of the deck. As now Nation has got Sheamus up into an elevated spinning power bomb. Cover here, rope break. According to the referee. Wrist lock, shoulder tackle from Sheamus. Now Sheamus with an uppercut of his own. Seen to work on Yuha Nation. Nation may have been blocking the Irish Curtis backbreakers from Sheamus, but here comes Cesaro off the hot tag. Now Cesaro. Firing off on all cylinders, at least for the moment anyway. Belly to belly suplex from Yuha. And Cesaro forced to retreat. I've never seen anybody single-handedly take care of the the bar the way that Yuha Nation just did moments ago. Running clothesline there from Cesaro. Excuse me, from Bennett to take down Cesaro. But Cesaro able to capitalize and keep on him. Now Cesaro going for the sharpshooter. Paying homage to former tag team partner Tyson Kidd. Is Bennett going to tap out of the sharpshooter here? And he does. And Cesaro gets the win for the bar in our opening contest. And here we see the replays. Of the opening contest here for this week's strike zone. And I'm being told that Maria Can Maria Canellis is gonna be in action following this match. She's gonna be facing the women's champion Nikki Bella here in mere moments. A bit of a rematch of sorts since Maria's debut here in Reina Cast Wrestling was against the women's champion and she beat Nikki. But still has not earned herself a women's title opportunity, but I would almost suggest that if Maria can do it again, I would almost suggest that if Maria can do it again, she's obviously earned herself a title match at the Autumn Rumble against Nikki Bella.
And then a quick reprieve. Maybe some critique from Maria Canales to the rest of the deck. As Maria prepares to take on Nikki Bella in one on one action. Again, Maria Canales defeated Nikki in her first match. And let's see if Maria can pull off the upset once again. Nikki Bella, one of the most dominant champions here in Reina Chaos Wrestling. Record setting four time women's champion, most of any champion. Will her streak and reign continue at the Autumn Rumble, which is where, of course, she won her first women's title. As soon as we find a challenger for Nikki, Maria and Nikki Bella. Nikki with a swing neck breaker to Maria. I kept saying in all the matches between Nikki Bella and Jordan Grace that Nikki seems to be the kryptonite for Jordan Grace, but the same could be said between Maria and Nikki that Nikki is only taking losses so far only to Maria. Maria rolling to the outside, not sure what she's looking for, probably just to reset her game plan here against the champion, but can't really pick up a victory over the champion if you're outside the ring, but here we go. Nikki with a side suplex to Maria outside the ring. And face first goes Maria off the apron. Maria being thrown back inside the ring. And Nikki continues to go to work on Maria. Into the cover here. A bit of unorthodox timing on that cover, but if it works, it works. A quick slam right in the mat from the back of the head. It's going to do some quick favors if you're Maria. Now Nikki off the ropes. Maria with a spinning back elbow, taking down the champion. Left roundhouse kick there by Nikki, and then she goes with the Bella Buster. Jawbreaker from Maria. And Maria with the elevated wheelbarrow bulldog there. Take it down to the champion. And now Maria just teeing off on the champion cover here. And only a one count from Nikki. Nikki again is taking on all challengers. Both here in this edition and our initial launch in 2016 taking on all sorts of different challengers and has walked away with the title for every one of them except for a handful of occasions where she lost the title but now Maria the elevated face buster of her own into the cover here on Nikki Bella and Nikki getting the kick out staying alive in this matchup Maria again just not letting off on the champion cover here once again only a one count this time from Nikki
We're going to send Nikki into the corner, looking for a single leg takedown for something. Not able to connect with it, keeping control of the wrist lock into the elbow from Nikki. Now Nikki in fireman's carry position, set up for the rack attack 2.0. To Maria, out of nowhere, is the rack attack. This could be enough to put away Maria. No, Maria getting the kick out and staying alive. Now Nikki just isolating the left arm, the right arm, rather, of Maria. Maybe trying to force it out of a socket. I mean, if it works, it works, but not obviously the most respectful way to defeat your opponent, but I'm not the one in the ring. Cover, kick out by Maria. Now Nikki with the elevated face, but the bell buster again. To Maria. Back elbow caught Nikki had probably right between the eyes. Flying cross body from Maria. Cover here. And only a one count from the champion. Maria calls herself the true first lady of Rancast Wrestling. Whoa, what's Nikki going for here? Electric chair slam. DDT right to the foot, the left foot of Maria. Maria's just getting dissected here by Nikki. Snapmare takedown. Modified stretch here on Maria. Again, Maria called herself the true first lady of wrestling because she defeated, essentially, again, just defeated Nikki on her first night and demanded more respect than the lukewarm reception that she received. And That's where we're at right now with the formation of the deck. And the queen and the first lady at the deck put away the champion here for a second time. We'll have to wait and find out as this match continues. Spinebuster from Maria. Jackknife cover here. Innovative pin here to Nikki with a kick out. I can honestly say I've never seen Maria pull that off. That was... Very impressive. It's a jackknife cover off that spine buster. Now Maria raking the eyes of Nikki. She drops suplex. To the champion. And now Maria setting Nikki up for another elevated face buster there. To the champion, rolling to the cover. Can Maria do it again here? Whoa, that was very, very close. Nikki just getting the shoulder up. I honestly thought that was going to be it right there, that, Nick, that Maria just pinned Nikki for a second time. And Wow, the resiliency of the champion. I mean, I know, again, I already went on about Nikki's resiliency as champion, but that was as close as it was going to get right there. Now Nikki just throwing Maria into the ring post. Now both arms have got to be worn out from Maria. Nikki's focused on both arms and a leg of Maria Canales. And now Nikki, fireman's carry. Looking for the rack attack. Maria landing on her feet. Another running face buster. To the champion cover here. Two and three. Maria has beaten the champion again. Maria Canellis has done it again, folks. She has defeated the women's champion. And gentlemen, I am being told that it is now being confirmed by management that Nikki Bella will defend the women's championship 
against Maria at the Autumn Rumble. However, it's going to be a two out of three falls match. Seeing that out of only the two times that these two have gone at it, that Maria's gotten the victory over Nikki. Now it looks like Maria's going to have to do it again. Defeat Nikki two times in one match. And that's where we're going to... And that's where we're going to be at the Autumn Rumble. Between Maria and Nikki. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with more Rain of Chaos Wrestling, and now, whoa, wait a minute. Mickey and Paige exchanging words here. Now we got a brawl in our hands outside, in the back. Between Mickey and Paige. Mickey defeated Paige in a no disqualification match last week, and I guess Paige hasn't had enough of the legend Mickey, but Mickey's gladly taking it to Paige here in this brawl backstage. Mickey's still fighting back here against Paige. Can we get some? Can we get some security out in the back room? My God, Mickey, going head first into the door, the locker room. My sake, I hope it's the women's locker room here. No, now Mickey James got, she's got a garbage can right over the back. With Paige. These two just continuing to brawl in the locker room area. We need to get security into the back of the locker room here. We need we need to get some help out here. Oh Paige turn right on the floor of the the locker room. Mickey able to fight back here. Lou says press. I mean, I. Mickey delivering the check kick to Paige right in the mush, and Paige still fighting back here. Oh my god, right in the chair. Guys, we need some security, and we need it now. Paige. Paige, no. No. Paige, no. Don't do this. No! Rampage on the floor. Mickey still somehow showing signs of life until Paige just bringing the chair on down to Mickey James here. And this brawl is still continuing outside. Oh my god. Paige is just laid out. Mickey James, I hope there's some kind of repercussions for taking out Mickey the way that Paige did. We'll have to wait and see and try to get some more information as this story continues. But folks, coming up next, we got Kevin Owens, the former Twitch champion. Excuse me, the former Twitch and world champion. Taking on the former Twitch champion, Dave Mastiff, in singles action. As Mastiff is still preparing for his world title match at Autumn Rumble against Prince Devitt. Mastiff cashed in the Twitch championship. For a world title opportunity, we'll see if Mastiff can pull that feat off at the Autumn Rumble, but he's taking on a warm-up match here against Kevin Owens. Again, folks, I'll try to provide any kind of insight that I can get. In regards to that brawl between Paige and Mickey James, before we go off the air, and this is our co-main event. Again, our main event is going to be Bobby. 
Bobby Roode defending his newly won Twitch title against Eli Drake in the main event. Both these guys know about being a former Twitch champion. Obviously, Massif defending the title, I believe, seven times until he found out that he can cash in the title for a world championship match. Kevin Owens is the first person to ever win the Twitch and the world title. And Owens still believes he's owed a fair world title match against AJ Styles after what happened at RCW Gala. But Owens was not successful in trying to get a rematch at Mosh Pit. As these two behemoths of the world title division will clash. Let's see if Kevin Owens can still get the job done here if he can defeat Dave Mastiff, but Mastiff's on a roll and it doesn't seem to stop anytime soon. This is actually Massive's first match since vacating the title. Back body dropped by Owens, so we haven't seen Mastiff in the ring for some time since he again vacated the title. Well, that just means that he's been, been upgrading his arsenal and sharpening the tools of the trade to get himself the world title, but you know, that'll have to remain to be seen until the Autumn Rumble here in a few weeks' time. Off the ropes goes Mastiff, back body drop by Owens. And now Mastiff, belly to belly, breaking the eyes does Owens. To the DAT from Kevin Owens. Float over DDT. Goes to Kuba. How are you? Into the corner. To the clothesline from Kevin Owens. Taking down the bomber. Into the corner goes Mastiff. Now modified STF here from Mastiff to Owens. Owens able to fight out of it. Into the splash from Dave Mastiff. Now Owens with Tope Su I don't know, springboard maneuver there. I'm not even gonna attempt to identify which Tope move that is, but nonetheless Owens was able to land it, bringing Mastiff back inside the ring. Now package neck breaker. To the bomber, Dave Mastiff, and now Owens stalking it. Stalking Mastiff. Then up and down with the pump up power bomb. Cover here. Can Owens defeat one of the contender? No. Mastiff staying alive off the pump up power bomb. Just lock control into the clothesline from Mastiff. And now, Fireman's Carry may be looking for that rolling DDT, but the rolling Centon, excuse me, but Owens able to escape out of it. These two are just so similar in moves and body type and 
what they're able to do in the ring. And there we go, the rolling senton able to connect that time from Mastiff. Now Mastiff just wrenching the neck of Kevin Owens here. Owens able to fight back off Mastiff running clothesline, taking him down. JBL would be proud of that one, only a one count. From the bomber, Dave Mastiff. And now Owens again looking for that package neck breaker. To Mastiff and again working the neck. Now Kevin Owens maybe looking to put this match away again here. Looking not much distance to cover this time with another pop-up power bomb. Rolling into the cover on Mastiff here as Owens done it. Yes, Owens has pinned Mastiff. As Mastiff has got a date with Prince Devitt at the Autumn Rumble for the world title and Owens may have easily just reinserted himself into the title picture. And now, honestly, besides Mastiff losing the Twitch title for the first time, this is only the second loss to the Bomber. The first was by Joe Hennig, and then now by Kevin Owens, so it's not impossible to defeat the Bomber, but it's not often done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our main event for the evening, the Twitch title on the line here. Bobby Roode defending against Eli Drake for the Twitch Championship. underway here Eli Drake challenging for the twitch title there's Drake and Wade Barrett at mosh pit who won their own respected battle royals to face each other in that rounds match for the vacant twitch title that was again vacated by Dave Mastiff but Wade Barrett easily won that rounds match two to nothing against Eli Drake, but now Drake gets another opportunity at the Twist Championship against the new champion Bobby Roode, who won it last week from Dolph Ziggler. Marking this to be Roode's first championship here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling. Now with the glorious Twist Champion. Bobby Roode 
making his way to the ring. Can he possibly walk out of here tonight with the Twitch title? We'll have to wait and find out. If the glorious one can retain the Twitch championship against Eli Drake. Ladies and gentlemen, I was able to provide some, I am able to provide right now some more information in regards to Paige and Mickey James in that brawl we saw earlier. And I'm being told that Paige has been suspended indefinitely. Until this matter is resolved between her and Mickey. But I'm being told that Mickey is going to be in a match next week, but it's. Don't know who it's going to be against yet, but we'll have to wait and find out next week. But here we go Twitch title on the line. You know, Drake on a series of up and downs here in RCW, and hopefully he can break that streak by winning the Twitch title. Obviously, they did it the same for Bobby Roode. Maybe they'll do it for Eli Drake here. This has been Bobby Roode's breakout moment so far in his career as a Twitch champion. Jinx Dolph Ziggler last week and losing the Twitch title, but hoping not the same will happen here for Bobby Roode. I think I may have already done it a couple times in this broadcast or at least in their entrances, but here we go. Roode and Drake, main event. Butterfly suplex by Bobby Roode. Taking down Drake. And double accident went right into the upper shoulders of Eli Drake, the upper back. Rude now keeping control of the back of the neck. Just ramming Drake into the top turnbuckle pad. Another DDT there from Eli Drake. Drake obviously a massive trash talker. That's been a defining trait of his entire wrestling career. And to mo the most part he can back it up in the ring. Taking, taking it to Eli Drake here on the outside of the ring. Back elbow by Drake into the counter running spear from Drake. These two just brawling outside of the ring. Referee at a count of five. I mean, Rude can retain his title by count out. Wouldn't do any favors for Eli Drake, but here we go back inside the ring. Another double axe handle from the glorious champion. Now, a spine buster to Eli Drake into the cover to retain the title here. No. Drake getting the shoulder up, Bobby Roode. Can't get too frustrated early on in this match. And Drake just dumped over the top rope. Now Rude in hot pursuit of Drake. I'm not sure what Bobby was looking for in there, but Drake was able to counter for a second with a gut buster. Now Rude just carrying 
the dead weight of Eli Drake. And going back first into the guardrail. And now Drake dumped outside the ring, and this is not a false count anywhere, folks. And this match is going to end inside the ring. Rude knows that. And so does Drake. The referee was at the count of seven, I believe. And now Bobby Roode on the glorious DDT. Seemingly out of nowhere to Eli Drake, rolling into the cover to retain his title here. Can Roode do it? Yes, Roode has successfully retained the Twitch title here in our main event. Here you see the spine buster. Bobby Roode, and there's the elevated DDT, the glorious DDT. And it's not record setting title defenses. Mastiff has put on here a couple of times here in his second reign, but it's a quick win for Roode nonetheless. As he retains the title. And defense number one of up most to five until he can cash in that title for a world title opportunity just as Dave Mastiff has done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our show this week. We thank you everybody so much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to if you enjoyed this show, make sure to drop a like and to subscribe so you don't miss any other kind of action here on Reign of Chaos Wrestling or 2KCW. We thank you everybody so much for watching. We'll see you right here next week on the strike zone